Today we remember heroes like Wayaki Wahinga, who was buried alive by the colonialists. We remember people like Hari Duku, who was banished by the colonialists and detained in uh, Kismayu. We also remember those people like General Madenge, Kangethe, Kimadi, Kasamjogu, Mwari Mariema, Nabaimungu, just to say of many a few, who are not madmen to take up arms and go into the bush to fight the mighty British Army. They were truly Kenyan patriots. Neither were the Kapangaria Six, led by Jomo Kenyatta, Fred Kubai, Kung Karumba, Bilal Kagia, Paul Ngei, Achengo Neko. These were true Kenyan heroes of that time. Your Excellency, I recently I vis I visited Maito uh, Mukami Kimadi, and she's sending her greetings to this audience today. And she says she's unable to come and join in this celebration because she's ailing. Some of the wounds inflicted during her detention in those days in committee where she was also a guest together with Mama Ngina Kenyatta. Not many people know that Mama Ngina Kenyatta was also a political detainee in those days. So we celebrate these people. Your Excellency, this, this region of our country contributed immensely to the struggle for independence of our country. When the state of emergency was declared, People from this area had to carry passbooks to move around and get movement permits. Your Excellency, I'm carrying here a passbook that is called Kikuyu Embu Meru Passbook. And it reads that this gentleman, his registration number was 1621, Simon Warorwa. Son of Ngugi, tribe Kikuyu, district Fort Hall, location Gatanga, chief Ndungu, and sublocation Rugeda, and occupation Clark. It says, permit to move from one place to the other. This is what inspired the people to rise up against the colonial regime because of the humiliation. Your Excellency, we celebrate heroes like Bishop Gitari from this region, Ngugi Wadiongo, Michele Mugo, Wangari Madai, Ken Matiba, Charles Rubia, Reverend Timothy Njoya. Uh, we have here, Your Excellency, two ladies. One, the first woman to become a Chief Justice. Madam Martha Karua, I'm Martha Kiyomkome. She is a hero and how right she was in trenches with us during the second liberation. You have also here Madam Martha Karua, another hero. And then we have the, one of the first governors, women governors, Madam Anwai Guru, governor of this great country of Kirinyaga. But we have also other heroes in the field of music, like Joseph Kamaru, the late, John De Matthew, Gatorora De Samido, who are also great heroes from this region. Finally, Your Excellency, my hero, the former president, your predecessor, Mwai Kibaki. Mwai Kibaki must be celebrated as a hero in this country. When I said Kibaki Tosha, they said 
No Luo, they said Raila is finished politically. No Luo can vote for a Kikuyu because of what happened to Tom Boyer and Jaramogi. I went and told the Luos that there has never been a war between Kikuyus and Luos. That Kikuyus and Luos have been partners in the struggle for independence of this country. That Jaramogi, who said that Kenyatta must be the leader of this country. And Kibaki was a son of Jaramogi, who took him from Makarere and brought him to Kenya and made him the chief of, of executive officer of Kanu. Your Excellency, the Luos voted to make Kibaki 98.5%, <laughs> showing that this tribalism thing is very th skin thin. But then, Your Excellency, Honorable Kibaki got an accident and could not campaign. He campaigned for Mwai Kibaki. We saw him on a wheelchair in Nairobi. We came with him from Gidurai, through Dika, through Kenol, through Muranga, Kirinyaga, Kerugoya, Karatina, Mpaka uh, Udaya. Um, Everywhere, these people, the people were saying, Raila Mutongoria Jamba. <laughs> so Raila Odinga is a friend of the mountain and has been able to climb the mountain. I thank you.